Ano ang ibig sabihin ng heartland? Alamin ang sagot sa video na to. Good day learners! Today we're going to discuss another topic which is about arc length. The length of an arc of a circle is the product of the ratio measure of the arc over 360 degrees and the circumference of the circle. In this example, we have circle O. So, kung mapapansin natin, we have uh, the center, which is O, and we also have the central angle, angle MOP. So, yung kukunin natin dito is yung arc length. So, saan ba yung arc length banda? So, if we have angle or central angle MOP, its intercepted arc is arc MP. Ibig sabihin, ang kukunin natin is yung length ni arc MP. So, how are we going to do that? So, based on definition, all we need to do is to get the degree of the central angle. Ilalagay natin siya as a ratio of the degree measure of a circle which is equal to 360 degrees. Then after that one, we're going to multiply it to the circumference of the circle. Okay. So, if you're given, so yung given natin, we have circle O in which angle or the measurement of its central angle MOP is equal to 40 degrees. Okay? And its radius, itong R, this is the radius. So, from the point O papunta dito, so point M, that would be the length of the radius. Now, let us say yung radius natin is equal to 10 centimeters. Okay. Bagay natin ito ng 10. Now, let's try to compute or let's try to find the length or the arc length of arc MP. So, ito yung kukunin natin, yung length ni arc MP. So, gaya na sabi natin kanina, all we need to do is to get the ratio of the uh, angle with 360 degrees. So, ilalagay natin dito arc length. of arc MP is just equal to 40 degrees over 360 degrees times yung circumference. We all know that if we're going to get yung circumference ng circle, it would be equal to C is equal to 2 pi R. So, ilalagay natin dito 2 pi R. So, in this problem, hindi muna natin isa-substitute yung 3.14 sa value ng pi. So again, this is the ratio of the angle and yung degree measurement ng whole circle which is equal to 360 degrees. Then, after this one, is a substitute lang natin yung uh, radius. So, we have 40 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Now, r is equal to 10 centimeters. Okay. Mamaya ko na lang ilalagay yung unit sa final answer natin para hindi tayo malito. Then after that one, we need to simplify this one. Okay? So since pareha silang degrees yung units na pwede natin makancel out yung degrees na units. So 40 and 360, ano yung lowest term niya? So we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 40. So 40 divided by 40, that would be equal to 1. 360 divided by 40, that would be equal to 9. Then times, kung multiply natin si 2 at saka si 10, 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 20 times 5 will have 25. Okay? Then, isi-simplify lang natin. Numerator times 20. So, you will have 20 over 9 pi centimeters. So, this would be the length of our arc and P. Let's have more examples. So, suppose we are given, number one, given circle O, we have the radius which is equal to 18 centimeters, and the central angle AOB is equal to 60 degrees. Then, we're going to look for the length or the arc length of arc AB. So, ito na yung arc natin. We have arc AB. So, titignan natin ngayon or determine natin ngayon kung ano yung length 
ni RAB. So, gamit pa rin yung formula na ginamit natin kanina. So, in order for us to get the arc length, so we have the arc length. Again, this is the arc length of RAB. That would be equal to the ratio of the angle and 360 degrees. So, we have 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times yung circumference natin na 2 pi r. So, 2 pi r, we have 2 pi. Yung radius naman natin is equal to 18 centimeters. So, we have here 18 centimeters. So, mamaya ko na lang ilalagay yung units natin. Then, we're going to get the lowest term. Now, if in case hindi makuha yung lowest term, then you need to multiply kung ano man yung numerator dito sa uh, circumference natin. So, 60 over 360, yung greatest common factor nila would be equal to 60. So, 60 divided by 60 is 1. 360 divided by 60 is equal to 6. Then, we multiply natin si 2 pi by 18. 2 pi times 18, that would be equal to 36 pi. So, 36 pi. Then, 1 times 36 pi, that is 36 pi divided by 6. Okay? Pwede pa natin ma-divide sa 36 at saka 6. So, 36 divided by 6 is equal to 6. Therefore, yung final answer natin would be 6 pi centimeters. Ito na yung arc length ni arc AB. Now, how about the second circle? So, circle O pa rin yung given. And we have the radius 20 centimeters. And yung measurement ng arc natin is missing. Right? But then again, nakalagay na dito yung arc or degree measurement ng arc X and Y which is equal to 210 degrees. So it follows na yung central angle din natin is also equal to 210 degrees. Following yung central angle theorem natin. As a recap kung ano yung degree measurement ng central angle, yun din yung degree measurement ng kanyang intercepted arc. Therefore, yung gagamitin natin would be 210 degrees as well. So we're going to get now the arc length of arc x m y. Okay? So dito ko na lang ilalagay sa baba. So we have 210 degrees divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. So 2 pi r. Yung radius natin, papalitan na agad natin ng 20 centimeters. 20 lang muna yung ilalagay ko. Then, 210 degrees divided by 360. So, ano yung lowest term nila? Yung greatest common factor nila is equal to 30 degrees. So, we're going to divide yung numerator at denominator by 30 degrees. So, 210 degrees divided by 30 degrees, you will have 7. Okay? Then, 360 degrees divided by 30 degrees, that would be equal to 12. Then, mumultiply natin yung 2 pi by 20. So, we will have 2 pi times 20, that is equal to 40 pi. Okay, so simplify natin. So, pwede natin siya i-multiply, gaya ng ginawa ko kanina. Or pwede na rin natin simplify yung 40 at saka 12. Kaya cancel out natin yung uh, common factor nila. So, ano yung pwede ma-divide sa 40 at saka sa 12? So, we can divide them by 4. So, 40 divided by 4, that is equal to 10. Kaya 10 pi na lang yung matitira. 12 divided by 4, we, have, we will have 3. So, 3 na yung matitira. So, we can multiply now 7 times 10 pi. So, 7 times 10 pi, we will have 70 pi. Then, 3 times, uh, may 1 sa baba sa denominator. So, it will become 3 times 1, which is equal to 3. So, yung final answer natin would be 70 pi over 3 centimeters. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap.
please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.